What's up Capsters? Welcome back to my channel and for today's video I will be showing you how I shot these photos for a brand called MJ. So if you guys have watched yung vlog ko showing you the behind the scenes ng photo shoot namin ni John, which I will link here. So MJ, the brand that I've worked with dun sa video na yun, uh, they wanted to get me as a photographer for their social media content. Nangyari siya guys. <laughs> they hired me to do some product photography for their bags ulit. Pero this time, it's their concept and also uh, magpo-provide sila ng model which I will show you later. Uh, may konting clips ako pero uh, hindi na ako nakapag-vlog or nakapag-BTS that time kasi hindi nakasama yung kasama ko dapat. Shout out to you, Miro. <laughs> pero yun, uh, may magsushoot dapat ng BTS video pero hindi na siya nakapunta. So I just captured a small amount of clips. Because of that, uh, naisipan ko, what if i-share ko na lang sa inyo kung paano ko na shoot yung mga photos na pinakita ko sa intro and I'll be showing them naman throughout this video so so disclaimer I am in no way a super pro <laughs> photographer actually this is just like third time na magsushoot ako ng products kaya these tips that I'll be sharing uh, it's based on experience and of course, mga naisip ko lang din na pwede kong i-share sa inyo who probably is working with a model then or parang gusto mag-shoot with a model or with the product and hopefully these tips uh, will be helpful to you guys. And with that said, let's get into the tutorial. So first, I'll be showing you how I prepared for this shoot. So first, Una talagang kailangan yung gawin, especially if you're working with a brand, you have to ask a few things or better if alamin nyo kung ano talaga yung gusto nila. Kuya Anjo is working for MJ. Uh, shout out to Kuya Anjo. So we had a sort of a meeting that discussed kung ano yung gusto nila mangyari sa shoot. Ang sinabi na niya kung ano yung gusto nila peg, they want it to be streetwear or streetwear style yung photography. And the products that we'll be shooting na lama ko na rin through this meeting which is actually important uh, before going into the shoot. At least may idea ka na kung ano yung mga products na shoot and may imagine mo na kung baga mabubuo na sa isip mo yung mga siguro parang vision mo for this shoot. Mabubuo mo na siya pa konti konti and all that. Next, I decided on what gear to use. So, on the previous uh, video with John, I used the X-T30 with the 23mm and 50mm f2 lens. So for this shoot, I actually used the X-T30 again with 16-55mm f2.8 lens and the 60mm f2.4 2.4 macro lens uh, from Fujifilm. So big big shout outs to Fujifilm Philippines for lending me the X-T30 and those two lenses. Grabe, sobrang thankful ako na pumagay <laughs> na manghiram ako ng gamit and dream camera is either the X-T3 or the X-T30 tapos nagamit ko pa yung mga lens na yun. Grabe. Anyway, whatever camera you use guys, it doesn't matter as long as you can execute on the vision or the yung shot na gusto mo, basta makuha mo yung ganun, it's good enough guys. It doesn't matter what camera you use talaga. I got the 16 to 55 mm f2.8 lens kasi it uh, gives me a good range of focal lengths to use sa shoot na to. So 16 med uh, wide siya and then 55 is medyo close up almost uh, parang prime lens talaga yung function niya kasi it's it's also a fixed aperture lens so medyo prime na siya ng konti kasi f2.8 lens kaya na i-hold whatever the focal length na gamit ko so it gives me a good range uh, wide to uh, close up shot kaya ko magawa with that lens and also it's 2.8 na aperture so it gives me a bit of uh, room para sa low light situation so useful talaga yung mga ganong klase ng lens next I use the 60mm f2.4 kasi ito macro lens talaga siya so I can get as close as I can sa product na shoot ko and 
60mm siya, so super tight shot and maganda yung magiging uh, focus dun sa product talaga when using that kind of lens. Next, to prepare for this shoot, nag-research ako. So, I search for inspiration or pegs sa internet, sa Instagram, sa Facebook, sa mga forums, mga photography forums, mga ganyan. Kung baga, nag-research talaga ako kasi uh, first, personally, I don't have any experience with uh, streetwear photography. So, I'm thinking na similar lang naman siya when doing portrait shots of people. Pero this time, meron lang product na kailangan talagang ma-highlight. So, also, yung street vibe kasi, may certain look siya. So, uh, searching for this kind of inspirations help build my vision for this particular shoot. Next is, of course, you have to scout your location and check the weather before going in the shoot. Checking of weather, mahalaga siya kasi... At least alam mo na ko na yung what to expect during that shoot kung medyo magiging overcast ba yung sky, magiging super sunny ba or something ganoon. Kumbaga, may idea ka na kung ano mangyayari sa lighting mo, ambient light especially. So bukod kasi sa wala pa akong lighting equipment, I generally like uh, using yung ambient light talaga when doing uh, shoots. So scouting your location is also key kasi at least magkakaroon ka na ng idea kung saan mo pwedeng i-shoot yung certain uh, shot na nasa isip mo na. So after doing those things to prepare for a shoot, syempre ito na, actual shooting time na. So of course, uh, when shooting with the model, you have to communicate your vision or kung anong klaseng shot yung gusto mong mang- mangyari. So, it helps na ma-direct mo yung model mo, kung ano yung mga gusto mong mangyari sa kanya, kung ano gusto mong gawin niya, kung paano siyang go-post, saan siya aanggulo, anong gagawin na sa product. Kung baga, you have to direct him or her kung ano yung gusto mong mangyari sa shot para clear sa kanya yung mga actions na gagawin niya during the actual shooting part. If you know the direction of the shoot or yung gusto mong shot, mas madali yung magiging shoot Uh, mas mabilis kayo matatapos and kumaga uh, hindi mga waste yung time niya figuring out what to do next or what to do kumaga dapat clear na rin sa'yo as a photographer yung mga mangyayari sa shoot next you have to stick with the vision of course meron ka ng for me ang ginawa ko kasi di ba nagsearch ako ng mga pegs so na build na sa utak ko kung ano yung mga pwede kong gawin and mga possible shots na gusto kong nandun And ang maganda pa nun, si Kuya Anjo sent also the pegs na gusto niya rin makita. So what we did was, uh, nag-agree kami na ito yung, mga kailang, parang, ito yung mga required na shots at least na meron dapat dun sa isasubmit ko sa kanila. And then afterwards, we can do some experimental or uh, wala dun sa mga pegs na shots. Which also gives me the freedom to like express my creativity, which is really good. Kaya I'm really happy working with MJ, <laughs> kasi they let me do my thing. That of course they also need to be able to produce yung parang mga gusto nila makita talaga. Next, you have to observe your surroundings for potential spots pa. And syempre, you have to look at it at a different perspective. Kasi baka yung certain spot may certain look or parang vibe na mabibigay sa'yo. And it helps you uh, have some variety sa mga shots mo. Next is, of course, ito medyo part to ng communication which is the first uh, tip that I gave you. Pero show your shots to your model. Never leave your model hanging. <laughs> Uh, dapat hindi siya confused sa mga nangyayari uh, dapat clear yung mga clear yung mga actions na gagawin niya and then pakita mo sa kanya yung mga shots mo not only does it provide him parang yung actual feedback na na ito yung nakuha natin it also builds his trust sa'yo as a photographer kasi lalo na kung first time mo siyang mamit and all that maganda na makita niya rin na ah okay okay tong photographer na to so you have to be able to gain trust from your model para mas maging comfortable din siya sa iyo as a photographer next is of course i said stick to the vision pero after sticking to your vision na shots pag nakuha mo na talaga yung shot na yun na gusto mo mangyari try to do variations or try different things after nung shot na yon. 
ito na yung experimental phase na pwede mong gawin during the shoot. So, huwag ka rin matakot na mag-try. <laughs> mag-try ka lang na mag-try. At least, if ever na may maganda kang makuha from that shot, you can also submit that to your client or submit that to your friend. Yan. O, diba? Meron kong variation na shots na makukuha. Lastly, for the actual shoot, you have to shoot as much as you can. So, minsan limited time lang talaga yung allotted for a certain shoot and also ayaw mo naman siguro sayangin yung mga oras ng mga tao so you have to make use of your time na allotted sa'yo kung allotted lang talaga siya and shoot as much as you can kasi nandun ka na eh nandun ka na sa location ready naman na yung model and yung mga products uh, and all that so go crazy and shoot as much as you can try different things and make good photos. Malay mo, makakuha ka pa ng other shots from that uh, experimentation and yung mga iba mong shots, may mga ibang mas okay ipasa, ganun. So shoot as much as you can. So that is the part one of this video. Um, actually, the first part is all about the preparation and the steps and strategies na ginawa ko for uh, this shoot. I'm really proud of what I'm really proud of the shots that I took and actually nagustuhan din siya ni MJ. Uh, they are currently posting one by one yung mga photos na sinambit na sa kanila. And for the part 2 of this video, uh, I will show you how I edited or kung paano ko siya pinapost process using Lightroom and Photoshop. So I'm really excited to share din yung mga, hindi naman siya pro tips pero Kumaga, this is how I edited those photos na tinake dun sa photoshoot na to. And hope you guys learned something from this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, please uh, consider subscribing using the subscribe button below. And don't forget to leave the notification bell para ma-notify din kayo sa mga next na videos ko. And marami pa tayong content na gagawin na photography, video, and camera gear related. So if interested kayo sa ganon, consider subscribing and please give this video a thumbs up and ano ba guys yung mga gusto nyo i-tackle natin na mga topics about video, photo or anything content creation related kung may naisip kayo comment down below and we'll try to make a video out of it and yeah so thank you guys for watching see you on the next one bye